Hello everyone, welcome to National Car Academy. So in this session, we are going to discuss the topic is Indus Valley Civilization from 6th Standard New Book English Medium and it covers the government examinations like TNPC Group 1, 2, 4, PC and SI etc. So now let's move into the topic in the civilization ancient world civilizations mesopotamia civilizations 3500 to 2000 bce egyptian civilizations 3100 to 1100 bce indus valley civilizations 3300 to 1900 bce chinese civilization 1700 to 1122 BCE. Point 1. Mesopotamia, Egyptian, Indus Valley, Chinese civilizations were established only in places near the rivers, most commonly along their banks. Point 2. Initially, people lived in groups. Point 3. Indus Valley people formed communities out of these groups. Point 4. Then Indus Valley people evolved the societies which in due course become civilizations. Why did people settle near rivers? Point 5. People prefer to settle near the rivers for the reasons given below. The soil is fertile. Fresh water is available for drinking, watering livestock and irrigation. Easy movement of people and goods is possible. Discovery of a lost city, Harappa. Point 6. The ruins of Harappa were first described by the British East India Company soldier and explorer Charles Mason in his book. Point 7. When Charles Mason visited the Northwest Frontier province, which is now in Pakistan, Charles Mason came across some mysterious brick mounds. Point 8. Charles Mason wrote that he saw a ruined brick castle with very high walls and towers built on a hill. This was the earliest historical record of the existence of Harappa. Point 9. In 1856, when engineers laid a railway line connecting Lahore to Karachi, they discovered more burnt bricks. Point 10. Without understanding their significance, engineers used the bricks for laying the railroad. Point 11. In the 1920s, archaeologists began to excavate the cities of Harappa and Mohenjo-daro. Point 12. The archaeologists unearthed the remains of these long forgotten cities. Point 13. In 1924, the Director General of ASI, Sir John Marshall found many common features between Harappa and Mohenjo-daro. Point 14. Sir John Marshall concluded that they were part of a lost civilization. Point 15. Some slight differences are found in the earthenwares of Harappa and Mohenjo-daro. Point 16. The earthenwares of Harappa and Mohenjo-daro made the researchers conclude that Harappa was older than Mohenjo-daro. Books information. The Archaeological Survey of India, ASI, was started in 1861 with Alexander Cunningham as surveyor. The Archaeological Survey of India headquarters is located in New Delhi. How do archaeologists explore a low city? Archaeologists study the physical objects such as bricks, stones or bits of broken pottery known as shirts to ascertain the location of the city and time that it belonged to. They search the ancient literary sources for references about the place. They look at aerial photographs of the excavation sites or cities to understand the topography. To see under the ground, they may use a magnetic scanner. The presence and absence of archaeological remains can be detected by radar known as remote sensing methods. Sites in Indian borders. Archaeologists found major Harappan sites within Indian borders. Time span of Indus civilization. Geographical range. South Asia. P. 
period bronze age time 3300 to 1900 bce determined using the radiocarbon dating method area 13 lakh square kilometer cities six big cities villages more than 200 advanced civilization point 24 Harappan and civilization is said to be urban because of the following reasons well conceived town planning astonishing masonry and architecture priority for hygiene and public health standardized weights and measures solid agriculture and artisanal base unique features of Harappan and civilization point 25 Town planning is a unique feature of the Indus civilization. The Harappan city had two planned areas, upper town. The part of the city to the west was higher and it was called citadel. It was used by the administrators. Great both and granaries are located. Lower town. The part of the city to the east was lower but larger. It was inhabited by common people. Box information. Mehergar, the precursor to Indus civilization. Mehergar is a Neolithic site. Mehergar is located near the Bolan Basin of Balochistan in Pakistan. Mehergar is one of the earliest sites known. Mehergar shows evidence of forming and holding down done by man in very early times. Archaeological evidence suggests that Neolithic culture existed in Mehargar as early as 7000 BCE. Streets and houses. These streets are observed to have a grid pattern. They were straight running from north to south and east to west and intersected each other at right angles. The roads were wide with rounded corners. Houses were built on both sides of the street. The houses were either one or two stories. Most of the houses had many rooms, a courtyard and a well. Each house had toilets and bathrooms. The houses were built using baked bricks and mortar. Sunbright bricks were also used. Most of the bricks were of uniform size. Roofs were flat. There is no conclusive evidence of the presence of palaces or places of worship. Do you know why burnt bricks are used in construction? They are strong, hard, durable, resistant to fire and will not dissolve in water or rain. Info bits. Bronze Age The Harappan is a historical period characterized by the use of articles made of bronze. Drainage system. Many of the cities had covered drains. The drains were covered with slabs or bricks. Each drain had a gentle slope so that water could flow. Holes were provided at regular intervals to clear the drains. House drains passed below many lanes before finally emptying into the main drains. Every house had its own soap pit, which collected all the sediments and allowed only the water to flow into the street drain. The Great Bath The Great Bath was a large rectangular tank in the courtyard. The Great Bath may be the earliest example of a waterproof structure. The Great Bath was lined with bricks, coated with plaster and made watertight using layers of natural bitumen. There were steps on the north and south leading into the tank. There were rooms on three sides. Water was drawn from the well located in the courtyard and drained out after use. The Great Granary The granary was a massive building with a solid brick foundation. Granaries were used to store food grain. The remains of wheat, barley, millet, sesame, and pulses have been found there. Box information A granary with walls made of mud bricks. Granaries are still in a good condition, has been discovered in Rocky Garhi, a village in Haryana belonging to mature Harappan face. The Assembly Hall 
the assembly hall was another huge public building at mohenjo-daro the assembly hall was a multi-pillared hall 20 pillars in four rows to support the roof trade and transport harappans were great traders standardized weights and measures were used by indus valley people harappans used sticks with marks to measure length harappans used cots with spokeless solid wheels in harappa there is evidence for extensive maritime trade with mesopotamia indus seals 